Hello and welcome to Access 2013 Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the date serial function. So if you want to play along follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download Access 2013 DB54 and open it up. Now why am I showing you how to use the date uh, serial function? Well we're kind of getting into the home stretch of creating the database and the database we're creating is for hotels to keep track of bookings but as we've been creating the database um, you may notice that a lot of the information is in the past and the next thing I want to do is create the scheduler which is basically a visual representation of the data in a database um, and rather than me have to go and input a load of new data so that I can keep it up to date. What I'm actually going to do is just change the dates of the bookings here and the booking details here so it will be exactly the same except the month will be updated to the current month. Yeah. Um, in fact actually I should probably update the year to the current year as well um, so that you can run the update query and then it will update that information. So we're going to need date serial to do that in a nutshell. So go to create, go to query design, so we're going to be using an update query to do this and add table bookings. So if I add a uh, check-in date and run that, you can see a list of all the check-in dates. Now what I want to do is I just want to update, I want to keep actually the day, but I want the month and the year to be updated to the current month and year. So we're going to use uh, date serial. So first we're going to create a separate field that does that. So click in top row. Um, of the adjacent vacant field and click on builder and let's just call it check in new semicolon and if we immediately start with the date serial function uh, and click comma you can see the date serial function takes a year month and a day um, and returns a, a serial <laughs> A date. So basically you put a year, a month and a day and then you get a date back. It's as simple as that. So if I put in um, 2013-03-05, click OK and run it, I get the 5th of March 2013. Obviously if you're uh, American those two will be reversed, hopefully. Um, and it is quite as simple as that. But the key point is because you're inputting the year the month and the day you can break a date down and you can manipulate it which is exactly what I'm going to do here so I'm going to start with a year well I want to put in um, the year that we're currently in so very simple I tap in year as a year function open and close brackets and within it I'm going to put date so what it's going to do is it's going to take the current date uh, which is the 29th of July 2013 and it's going to take the year value from that date so it's going to take 2013. So the year is going to read 2013. Now we get to the month. Same idea. Month. Date. So um, it's going to take the day, like I said, 29th of July 2013. And it's going to read the month, which is July, which is 7. So it's going to store the year and then it's going to store the month. So it's going to be 2013, 7. And I want to keep the day the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the day from the check-in date. So I'm going to say day. And then, well, it's not even going to do, is it? Table booking details dot check in date. Press OK. So now, if I run that, it's taken the 15th and it's put it here. It's taken the 26th and it's put it here. It's taken the 20th and it's put it here. Yeah, so it's updated everything. It's kept the days, but it's made all the months and the years the current month and year. So the year's still the same, but the month you can see has been updated. So go back to design view. Now we're going to do the same with checkout date. But we're going to be a bit cheeky because we're going to click in check in new. Uh, control A, control C. And we're just going to copy and paste over here. That's annoying that I did that. Okay. And just run that. Yeah, we've done the same thing with the checkout date. We've updated the month and the year. We've actually made it consistent because that was 5th or 6th. Ah, see, that's not what we want, is it? I'll tell you what we want. We want to take the checkout date. We want to add a. We want to add one to it. 
So quite simple. Go back here. And for month, just after the second bracket, or just before the comma, put plus one. Now click OK and run that. OK, so that's updated everything to August. OK, so back to design view. And we're going to change it to an update query. And we're going to take the actual formula for checking new. We're going to drop it in update two. And we're going to take the wrong one. We're going to take the formula for checkout new. If I can, if I can, I'm going to drop it in here. And we're just going to move that over. We're going to try and move that over. And we're going to highlight these two and press Control X and get rid. Um, now, a quick thing about queries. If you go data sheet view, it just um, displays data. It doesn't actually run the query. So if we go back to design view. Now, if we click run, we make the actual update. Now, if we go back to data sheet view, it actually shows the updated information. Cool. Now, let's save this and call it query booking details, uh, query booking details, update date update date. It's the worst name query ever, but whatever. We'll have to live with that. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for bookings, which is very simple. Query design, table bookings. This one's a bit easier, actually, because we've only got the one date. Just run that. Yeah, booking date. Um, and go to update. Go to update to. Click on builder. And we're going to update to. Date serial. Same concept. So the year we want date, the month, we're going to just take the current month, so we want also date, and then the day, we want day, and we want table bookings dot booking date, and after all that we'll have one more bracket. So we'll click Data Sheet View first of all, so it still says March and May and all that. And then run it, and I'll go back to Data Sheet View, and we've updated everything to the 7th. And we'll save this one and call it Query Update, or Query Booking Update Dates. So, <laughs> that's such a badly named query. Brilliant. So we've learned a couple of things today. We've learned about date serials. We've learned how not to name queries. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty. We've actually learned also the year, month and day function. There you go. All these things in one video. All right, cool. Uh, brilliant. Okay, so see you in the next video. Have a good one.